So we set some eggs last week um, and we set them, so that's day seven today. I've also set some eggs on Saturday, so we've got eggs at day three of incubation to look at, day seven of incubation to look at, and we've got some eggs that are due to hatch on Friday, so they're on day 19 of incubation, and we're going to look at how we can compare those three eggs to see how the chicks have grown inside them. But I know that you're dying to see the chicks, and I know little Jess, hi Jess, it's Auntie Jess. It's time to see the chicks. So that's the first thing we're going to we'll have a look at them now. And then when we've got a bit of time later at the end, when we've done the candling session, we'll come back and look at them again. But we're going to go down to the other camera now. OK, there we go. So our little chicks are in here. What I'm going to do, hello guys, to make life a bit easier, I'm just going to take the, the heat plate out just so you can see them a little bit better. And then I'm going to put the camera inside the cage. I'm not going to lie. I tried doing it. Oh, steady. I tried doing it yesterday with the lid off. And you can probably imagine these little guys are no longer so shy about legging it. And they did. So I'm just going to put the camera inside the cage. Okay. Hello, kiddies. Have a little look at these guys. I'll just move it round a little bit so over there at the moment. Okay, that should focus in on them. So these are the little guys that you saw me take out of the incubator last week when they were literally just a day old. And now they're seven days old and quite enormous. And I think a really good thing to do, a really good useful thing to have a little look at. They're all having a little look. Come a little bit closer is how small the eggs were that they came out of. So that's an Andalusian bantam egg. And that's a Wellbar bantam egg. And if you look at the fact that this little guy yeah, came out of that egg a week ago. It's quite amazing. And these little Wellbars came out of those eggs a week ago. That's pretty amazing that they've grown that much. How did that ever fit in there? And if we actually have a little look. Okay, there a little one. There, can you see the feathers? Ooh, little one. See the feathers growing nicely on there. Okay, they are growing feathers already. And these little Andalusians. These little lovely bluey grey ones, we call them blue. And I've got little tail feathers coming on their bottoms, which is really cute. And their feathers are growing really well. And you can see that this one has got a little red leg ring on. And the other Andalusian hasn't. And this well bar has got a little red leg ring on. And the other one hasn't. And that's mainly so that I can... Um, talk to you later at the end of the broadcast we'll talk about the names that have been coming in because we've got some pretty cool names that have been coming in for these little chicks um, 
and we can match the names up to the different chicks because they both look very much the same. Okay. Morning, Nimi. Morning, Deborah. And Aunt Nimi's brother. Morning, Patrick. Okay, so I'm trying to keep an eye on things. So those are the little guys I hatched last week. You can see there's an enormous difference. Okay, we've got wing feathers, tail feathers. And look at the size of them compared to the eggs that they came out of. To be honest, once they've dried and, you know, a few hours after they're hatching, they look like they're never going to fit it inside those eggs. So, yeah, I've taken the heat plate out. They'll be fine for a little bit because it's nice and warm in the office this morning, just for a change. And we're going to have a look at them and come back and talk about names. So if you've got any ideas, more ideas of names, okay. Um, this one is Chick A. Uh, this one is Chick B. <laughs> this one is Chick C. And this one is Chick D. Which is a pretty good name already, Chickadee, but anyway, we'll come back to that in a bit. So what we're going to do now then, is we're going to have a little look at what candling is. Okay, I'm just going to take that camera out of there. Oh, you see there, guys? And pop it on here. And we're going to be looking at these eggs here. Because candling, um, hello four-year-old Simon. <laughs> Candling is a process um, that we do um, to see if there's a chick growing inside an egg. Now, last week, when you were on with me, I put 72 eggs in my incubator. And I could wait three weeks and see if I got 72 chicks out. But that is kind of a little bit of a waste of incubator space because I could have eggs in that incubator that are actually going to turn into chicks. And also it's really disappointing if you wait three weeks and you've got no chicks coming out of the eggs you put in your incubator. It's a really simple process of candling that we can do. And candling, obviously, originally started by people using a candle, lighting a candle, putting the flame in a dark room rather than a room with just a blanket over the window, which actually is what I've got here putting the candle underneath the egg and the light shining through would give an idea if there was something growing inside the egg. So that's why it's called candling. Um, and we, I, I managed to find a friend of mine um, has found some amazing pictures of some old candlers. And this is a really cool one. This is So this is the electric cable going in and this would be a light bulb here okay and then the egg would have been put on top so the light source was here and the, the light would have shone in here and they could have looked inside the egg again um and to see if anything was growing this, this is another, another one, one which i really, really like, like. now this, this one's, one's not using, using any electricity, electricity. So, so this at the bottom, bottom is like, like a little paraffin or spirit lamp that like you'd use for camping and, and so, so they would have lit that, that the flame would have been the source of light and i'm pretty assuming that the egg would have gone on top here um Possibly. I'm, I'm not sure, sure. but this, this one's, one's my favourite for sure. sure. Okay, love this one because you can do six eggs at once. Again, all these would have been had to use in a darkened room. Okay, and again, we've got a spirit burner here. Um, we would have had um, so they would have lit that at the bottom, match here for um, illustrative purposes, and put the six eggs in. The, the light would have shone through here, and again, they would have looked at that in a darkened room just to see if those eggs are fertile so if we just go back to this camera so these are the eggs that um i've actually taken out of my incubator from the ones that we put in last week it's a little bit disappointing to take so many out but spring really isn't springing very well and we've had well today we haven't got any snow on the ground um but we've had snow on the ground and it's been really cold here at HQ. And um, I have to say that does affect the cockerels' inclinations. Um, not so much the little ones, but definitely the big ones. But that's a joke for conversation for another day. Um, and so there's lots of eggs here. These eggs all candled empty. So because they've not got to have chicks in them, because they're not going to hatch, there's no point me leaving these in the incubator. I may as well take them out and fill that space which is what I'm going to do today um, with some other eggs so that means I've got not wasting the space in my incubator with these eggs that are infertile 
okay so what I'm going to do quickly though is look at look at what I'm going to use for candling you can use loads of things for candling now and um, what I tend to use oh hello um you can use your mobile phone torch okay that works really well nice bright lights um get an egg put it on there and you can see the lights passing all the way through that you can even see from here okay that's a, that's a clear egg there's nothing going inside that that's just using a mobile phone torch i tend to use these little torches quite a lot but obviously i'm doing this in the dark again it's not quite as bright as my mobile phone no you can't see that very well okay but when i'm doing something like this um or i'm at an event or something and it's bright daylight i can't use things like that so what i've got over here and i think i showed you this last week is my candler okay so basically it's there's a mirror inside the egg so it's, it's a bit bright for um empty eggs so there's a little high-tech square of paper there the egg goes on there there's a mirror at the back that covers it up makes it really nice and dark so we can see it all and if we flick to the candle cam da -da -da, there we go what we've got in there is an image then of um the egg the clear egg that you see before you could probably just about tell it's a bit bright really you can probably just about see that at the top of the egg here um there's a slightly more orangey patch so that's the yolk which is floated to the top of the egg and then the rest of the space below is just the egg white okay so that's the candle we're going to be using mainly for the things we're going to be looking at today because we want to be able to see the detail inside the egg but um on Saturday, I had a lovely lady called Catherine, I hope you're watching Catherine, um, come and pick up an incubator for her sons to do as a home hatch. And I was going to show her how to, I set some eggs at the same time and show her how to candle those. So we're just going to have a little look over here. I'll just move cameras a minute. Okay, so over here in this little incubator over there. This is like a little mini one, it's the same ones that goes to homes and to, to schools. I've got some eggs that I set on Saturday. So those eggs have only been in the incubator for, well, coming up for four days. So we're going to have a little look at what we might be able to see in them. So I don't, I don't know if you remember, remember this video, video that, that we started, started watching together last week. week. I was, I was a bit mean that, that you watch very much of it. So this, this is the Australian Poultry, Poultry Commission, Commission video. video. It's fantastic. And, and it looks at embryos. Remember, remember that's the, the, the word that describes anything prior to being hatched or born. The growth inside the egg over 21 days. days. And when, when we watched, watched it last week, I stopped it at this point. Because we were talking about how you could tell if an egg's fertile just by cracking it and this bullseye shape here so you can see a light ring and a slightly more yellow one and a squint at it and you can see the bullseye okay so this is what we're looking at we've broken some eggs we had a look to see if they're fertile now once you've broken an egg there's no way that's going to be better so once you've established that your eggs are fertile it's time to stop trying to hatch them so, so the video, video brilliant, on this bottom left hand side it tells you how many days into incubation we are and this egg shape here in the middle it tells you the kind of relative size of that embryo as it's growing. So keep an eye on the days, keep an eye on that there and keep an eye on what's happening. So we're going to play video up to four, four days, days which is where the eggs in that little mini are up to and then, then we're going to have, have a look at eggs, eggs and see if we can see anything, anything. so within 24 hours as soon as to be honest, honest those, those eggs get, get up to temperature which is 37 and a half degrees they um start to develop and the first structures that are growing spinal cords and then within two days it's just phenomenal okay the, the heart, heart forms and, and begins, begins to beat, beat. so Definitely if we look, look here this is the heart so two, two days so last, last friday those eggs we put, put in had functioning heartbeats and, and here's going to be the head you can see that's going to be the eye here and then we've got spinal cord forming 
Okay, okay so, so fairly, fairly basic, basic, but the important, important things, things are in place. place. So head, brain, and heart. heart. So, so that's about two days. days. And, and then, then we, we get, get to the day, day three, which is kind of where we're up to now. I'm going to stop at this point, I think. So I think this is pretty much where the eggs that are in the incubator are up to at the moment. Okay, so those eggs that I set on Saturday are at that point. So what we're going to do, using the wonderful basic candling torture, I might try my phone if it's not bright enough. I'm going to have a look and see if any of the eggs I set on Saturday are fertile. I have actually looked already. <laughs> so this is a little mini. So I'm going to turn off the top light in the office there. Okay, and take that lid off. Okay, I'm just using this little torch. I think my phone might be a bit difficult to aim. Let's have a go. It might be a bit tricky to aim it onto it. I don't know if you can see. I think the torch is a bit bright. Let's go with the little one. There on the surface of there, can you see it looks like a little bit of a red spider that's just inside that egg? That's what I think it looks like, a little red spider. Okay. So that tells me, here it is there, that tells me that egg is fertile, but very early stage of incubation. I'm not going to put these eggs in the candle because they're very delicate. And that yolk, all will happen, the yolk will float to the top and uh, you won't be able to see anything. Okay, if we look at this one, nothing. Okay, nothing inside that one. If we look at this one over here. Again, a lovely little red spider, and you can see that it's beautiful. In the middle, the chick, that is where the chick will be growing. It's actually moving just a tiny bit, which is quite phenomenal. And actually, oh wow, that's amazing. I hope you can see, I can actually see the chick's heart beating through the shell. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that. And I'm sorry about that. The cameras, I can see the chick's heart beating there, which is just phenomenal. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And um, you can see the network of blood vessels which are going to wrap around the yolk to get all the nutrients out of the yolk for that little chick to, to feed. And the heartbeat is just under where my thumbnail is. But to be honest, with this camera, you might not be able to see that. Okay. Again, nothing in that one. So that's pretty amazing. Those chicks at that early stage of incubation. I'll pop that light back on early stage of incubation you can see already a little heart beating and the network of blood vessels over the surface okay so if we go back um let's just add some of these to the broadcast okay we'll go back to looking um at the video okay and we'll see where we're up to so, so that's, that's what, what we've, we've just seen, seen. That, that little, little spider, spider you, you could probably, probably see those shapes of blood vessels growing over the top um, of, of the yolk as that chick gets all the nutrients it needs to grow. To grow. So, so they're, they're the eggs that I set on Saturday, but the eggs that I set with you last week are a bit further, further on. So we're going to carry on playing the video, okay, and, and we're going to stop and see what happens. So later on today, limb development, so with limbs means legs and arms for us, or wings and legs. The, the chicks start to grow. grow. The, the head, head again, the brain growing all looks a bit of an odd shape. shape. Keep, Keep an, an eye on the eye. eye. Because eyes are incredible, really. they, they grow, grow very quickly in any gestation or incubation. Um, and, and they, they grow, grow far faster than most structures. structures. And, and the, the little chick actually doesn't, doesn't have eyes until it's 13 days old. They can't close their eyes, they're enormous. Okay, day, day five, limbs, limbs continuing to grow. And then digits, it says digits form. Digits means fingers and toes, basically. So this just being like a paddle shape. You're starting to get the little toes form here. And this little spur of a finger, vestigial finger, growing on the wing there. And that's why day six, again, the size of that eye. And then it keeps growing, look at, again, look at the size of it inside the, the egg. And by day six, that was yesterday, the beak starts to develop, enormous eye again, 
phenomenal, really. Doesn't really look like a chip yet. And then, oh, just, just a second. And then we've got a little egg tooth forming. And that's the little sharp point it's going to use to help it get out of the shell and the hatching. And the comb, let's get boys and girls both have a comb on their heads, is starting to develop. So this is the point, the eggs that we sat, uh, set together in the incubator last week have got to. Okay. Now it's exciting looking at these. Like I said, I've been through and I've taken out the eggs that... Um, the eggs that were infertile they're in that tray uh, next to the computer okay uh, but what I have done is I've taken some eggs um, that are looking good and I've checked them from the big incubator and put them on my desk so I can get them easily and we're going to have a little look now down the candle cam at the eggs that have been in so this is an infertile egg okay the one you're looking at now got no chicks growing inside it okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap that I'll put this other camera on here so maybe you can watch that process as well okay let's put that over here mm -hmm. that was not good let's put that back there okay we're going to swap that egg out and we're going to put in an egg that's been in the incubator these are one of, one of the ones i set with you last week okay so put that in there and then we're going to switch to candle cam okay put that lid on so this little egg set in the incubator uh, yeah, all breeds of chicken hatch in 21 days. Okay, is the question that we've got here. Um, all breeds of chicken hatch in 21 days. Uh, geese are 28 mostly. Uh, ducks are 28, but yes, all chickens, um, 21 days. Okay. So um, let's turn this little egg around. So you can see the blood vessels there at the bottom. If we and the air sac, and there we go. What we are looking at now. In this bottom section here is a little chick embryo giving it large and having a good time in that egg there so at the bottom here okay you sometimes it there we go that's the embryo moving around inside the egg you can see a blood vessel there as well and the very clear light bit at the bottom is the air sac that we talked about last week okay so the bit that you can see, there's blood vessels. It's quite dark in there, okay, because it's filling up with other structures. But the main bit is the bit at the bottom, which is the, is the chick. Let's just go to this screen a minute. And, and you, you can, can see, see how big, big the chick, chick is inside there. there. Okay, okay, so, so that's, that's the size of the chick inside the egg. egg. If we go, go back, back to the candle, candle cam, it gives you a little bit of an idea. It's kind of at the bottom here in this space. And you can see the little guy moving out. So this little Andalusian bantam it's gone a little bit quiet. So if I turn the egg, you can see the blood vessel. Oh, there he is. You can see that shape, quite dark with blood vessels and structures inside the egg. And that's pretty cool. Okay. We'll have another little, little look at another one because there's a couple of really good eggs. Another couple, another white one. And then we're going to look at some different colours and talk about that too. Okay, here's another Andalusian bantam egg. They're doing really well at the moment. Again, you can see it's dark, there's some structures in there. We go around to this side, in this kind of semicircle, this circular bit here. Can you see the really dark grey blob at the bottom? That's the chick's eye that I was telling you about, really clear. Okay, so that dark grey blob, that one's really busy and active. Great stuff. That dark grey blob at the bottom, so it basically the head is at the bottom of the egg, as you can see it. That's the chick's eye. 
and you can probably just about make it out it kind of looks like a bit of a weird shaped kidney bean and it's really <laughs> really having a bounce around inside that egg and you can see the blood vessels there so I hope you can see the difference between that and the empty eggs that I put in which looked a little bit like a, a sun or a moon or something it's really obvious at this point whether the eggs have got chicks inside them I can sit and watch this all day but I appreciate not everyone wants to so um, I'm going to get I've got a couple of other eggs as well I've got a brown and a green egg just to show you that it's a little bit harder to see into them because of the shell colour but actually you can see the difference I'm going to pop this little bean back okay and I've got a cream leg bar egg here from pen two that's why it's got number two on the bottom of it okay the chicks break out of their eggs using their egg tooth but we'll do that a little bit more when we come to the hatching day so this is a cream leg bar egg can you see how much darker the shell is now harder much harder it is you can see the kind of bluey green um nature of it when i looked at this egg earlier it was really bouncing around and it's kind of about here but it's not moving quite so much now okay but if we look at if we compare that one to um an infertile cream leg bar egg again harder to see through but can you see the difference it looks completely clear you can't see any structures there whereas this one i can't see the detail that i could with the white eggs but i can see there's a big difference it looks quite full and it looks quite dark okay so that's a, a blue one i've got a, a little well bar egg to look at as well put that one back Gotta keep these babies warm. So this is the last one of this particular kind of age group we're going to look at. And this was really giving it large about 10 minutes ago. So let's have a little look. This is where the chick is. There it is. Again, it's harder to see through because um, the shell's obviously darker colour. But you can see that chick bouncing around beautifully in the bottom of that egg and you can again that big big eye which is relatively huge compared to the rest of his body is is fairly apparent to me on that one um it's kind of on the left here i don't know if you can see my cursor on this actually so it's kind of curving over in this shape i'm not sure if you can and we'll compare that again to one that i took out so although, yes, we've got the darker shell, which is stopping us seeing some things, you can see that the infertile one there is quite different. Glowing like a light bulb is what I say to my clients that I'm not quite sure about camera. If it glows like a light bulb, it ain't got a chick in it. Okay, and there's that little bean again. Okay, so that is the size of the chick in there. It's that tiny, so it's about, I don't know, 12 millimeters long or something at this point so it's really quite tiny but that's after a whole week of of um of incubation okay so we've looked at those different colors we've looked at the seven day embryo i'm going to pop that little bean back in and then we're going to go back to looking at this video again so that's just what you were looking at there you were looking at that stage and that dark dark blob you could see again was the chick's eye and you were looking at that as it goes so what we're going to do now is um hydra in florida all the energy you can buy a white let's just grab this to the broadcast um is that down to the food or the breed of the hen it's down to the breed of the hen um some hens like some hens lay white eggs, some hens lay brown eggs, some hens lay blue eggs. It's all down to genetics, that one. Um, we, we can The food we give them makes our eggs taste better and have better coloured yolks, but we can't alter the colour of the shells. Have a look, um, Deborah, at last week's lesson. It's on YouTube or on the page, and that goes through the eggshells a little bit more detail for you. Okay, so we're going to carry on now. We're going we're gonna to work up to the other eggs that I've got for you to look at, and we're going to look at the development of them. So we're on day seven okay and little tiny feathers start to grow ne next day so tomorrow the mouth starts to open if you look at the eye 
as well we've got an eyelid starting to form little claws on the little feet definitely those are feet now rather than just little blobs okay and look at the size of the chicken the egg i think this is very cute a little bit of bum fluff starting to appear okay scales on the legs and feet dinosaur relations and look we've got eyelids now so that big old eye that's there the little chick can now close its eyes on day 13. unmute that I think you might have lost sound for a minute there so let's go back to candle cam I think we've lost a camera never mind uh, we'll go back to candle cam there we go mobile comes back in the room that's better don't you love technology are we back now can everybody hear me yep you should be able to hear me now can someone say yes i can hear you no i can't hear you um yeah we should be back in the room okay so we're going to put i'm sorry if you couldn't hear me before one of my cameras decided to disconnect itself yay thank you <laughs> so we can hear me now and then you can hopefully see what's happening inside this egg rather than me just pointing a blank um a blank cursor at it this little chick having little wriggle rounds in there okay so that's a really nice full egg a nice clear air sac at the bottom which the chick's going to peck its way into. Somebody asked me about how they hatch. They peck into that air sac to start off with. 
and we've got the blood vessels there and this little chick growing really nicely inside oh and having a little wriggle there a little flick and a wriggle round okay so we'll put that one back in have another quick look at one more and then it's chick time which let's face it is all you're here for let's have a look at this one this was having a good wriggle round earlier as well i like to check these things here's one i prepared earlier i love saying that again another nice clear big air sac nice blood vessels and then look in the middle of the egg there you can see nice clear movement then i think we're just a bit lopsided let's stand you up straight mate there we go hmm so another nice full shell nice healthy chick in there again due to hatch Ooh, some movement on yeah it's no problem to keep open the incubator at the moment at all a mum gets off the nest that's fine it's fine that it'd be cooled down a little bit and um, what you don't want to do is after tomorrow when i put the water in this incubator for these don't want to open it until 24 hours after the eggs have hatched so that's absolutely fine at the moment to keep opening it no harm done whatsoever okay can you see some movement in that one as well so that's what we've looked at chicks from um naught days to three days to seven days and then we're going to look at some actual chicks which are themselves seven days old okay so, so let's go through these names again yeah, we'll put the camera hello guys hello 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 okay let me just check if you can see i've got to get their best sides i'll be cross otherwise okay so i focus found them yeah about right so the names that you guys have come up with so far okay let's find this little one here come on my fingers oh, cheeky monkey this little one this is chick a and so far we've got names of dusty and chick chick for this one so please go on on the the thread on the education page and click on the picture of the chick and pop then your name ideas underneath that and i'm going to do a proper poll for it later on okay so that one's chick chick so that's the andalusian with the red leg ring on this one is chick b and cleverly enough people come up oh a steady sausage names beginning with b so the names that we've come up for this one are bell or betty quite keen on betty so have a car called betty okay um chick c which is this little beauty has got some interesting names i like the names for this one mavis claudia or barbara or babs for short just barbara when she's been naughty clearly and then this little gorgeous one this is a girl we know these two we know these two well bars are girls so chick b is definitely a girl and chick d is definitely a girl and the names we've got for this one are susie Whoop. come here you monkey susie matilda or oh, mavis so mavis has come up for chick c or for chick d okay so there's different names that have come up for those so yeah go on the facebook page go on the um sorry, on the facebook go on the the little pictures it's got orange backgrounds with our super professional photo studio okay click on the picture that the chick that you want to name and put some ideas underneath and then i'll try and put them into a poll and you can vote for them all at some point so i hope you've enjoyed watching today okay i'm going to leave you with the little chicks okay cinderella oh, i like that one <laughs> Um, next week what we're going to look at are we're going to look at hens and incubators next week because incubators are obviously a artificial way of rearing chicks and hens know how to do that all by themselves so we're going to look at our hens our fantastic hens missy and suki missy of course being not only a fantastic school chicken but a national champion and magazine cover star she'll be wanting an agent soon and Suki we're going to look at them we're going to have them in the office with us we're going to look at incubators and how they work okay we're going to look at naming these chicks officially in a little poll 
and we're going to look at basically we're going to be sitting on the floor talking chickens okay so if you've got chickens already you've got any questions about incubation or being broody or anything like that um, next week is going to be a bit more kind of sitting on the floor talking chickens chickens on heads chickens on shoulders my usual party poll uh, party tricks things like that um, but I hope you've enjoyed watching today and listening to me ramble on about eggs it's what I love doing all this stuff and um, I miss being out in the schools um, as much as we should be at this time of year and if you're enjoying it and you want to donate towards the work I'm doing here to try and keep all these lovely rare breeds it does cost um, quite a lot of money to keep them going about um, the couple of sacks of feed a day and keep all these lovely 11 rare breeds going that I've got there's a link at the top um, of the Facebook page to um, the Just Giving page and you can uh, give as little or as much as you like and it would all be really very much welcomed and these guys probably want to go to sleep now so I'm going to put their heat plate back in and I'm going to come and say oh I'm not as good as chicks I'm at I'm going to come and say goodbye to everybody and um, I look forward to seeing you next week bye